A Butler County mother and her boyfriend back in court today facing new, more serious charges in the death of a two year old girl. Investigators say they are both responsible for what happened to little Kinsley Kinner. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson leading the way live from Hamilton tonight. Karen. And Mike, Rebecca Kinner and her boyfriend Bradley Young appeared in court separately today. Young is now charged with murder, Kinner involuntary manslaughter. Surrounded by supporters, Scott Sempt watched today's arraignments from the courtroom gallery. He's a father who says he now has two fights on his hands justice for his daughter Kinsley and a custody battle. I want full custody of the other baby, and something like this will never happen again. The other baby is the one Rebecca Kinner is carrying. She's pregnant with a baby boy. Scott believes it's his. I asked if we were allowed, in Kinsley's honor, just name the little boy Kingsley. I figured that'd be a sweet little name. Kinsley died last week at Children's Hospital. According to court documents, Kinner watched Young shake and punch the two year old in the head multiple times. Investigators say Kinner made no attempt to defend her daughter. Today, Kinner pleaded not guilty to charges of involuntary manslaughter, endangering children, and permitting child abuse. On the issue of bond, I'll bring to your attention, she is 32 weeks pregnant. She has no prior criminal record, Your Honor. Judge Keith Spaeth set her bond at $500,000. State of Ohio versus Bradley Young. Young also pleaded not guilty to charges of murder, involuntary manslaughter, and two counts of endangering children. His bond was set at a million dollars. Would any of you guys like to say anything? Both of their families declined to comment as they left the courtroom. And Kinsley's father, Scott, did have a support group with him today. He says really the support from this entire community it is what's helping him get through. He also told me he wants to continue having toy drives like he did at his daughter's funeral. He says he wants to help other children. Reporting live tonight in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you. Young and Kinner's next court hearing is set for January 21st.